<clears throat> is this thing working okay yeah so uh hey guys welcome to my tutorial to make a rpg horror game with five easy steps also please like comment and subscribe step one 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 First thing you want to do is create a map. Of course, uh, a lot of these horror games have indoor maps or take place in indoor maps. So we're going to be doing exactly that. We're going to be making an indoor horror game map. Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter how big it is. Just try and be reasonable and realistic. Like this. This is a decent amount of space for a room. And uh, please make sure to uh, fill up as many space as possible. Because if you don't fill up all of the space, then it's just gonna be whack or plain or whatever. So uh, a good square is usually a good way to start it off. Usually does the best in uh, wood tiles because everything else kind of sucks. And uh, it doesn't really matter what you put inside, just as long as you put something inside. What matters is the size of the map because the bigger it is, the more content you have. Okay, I did a jump cut to show you what I created. As you can tell, it's very spooky because there's a lot of broken things. And again, running on the idea of big maps equals more content. Step two, 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 two. The second most important thing is that you want to make sure that your game is extremely dark. Dark means that games are scary. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly just that. I am going to make a dark looking map. Oh, so you can't forget to put in a flashlight. All horror games have flashlights, so if you don't have a flashlight, then clearly your game isn't spooky at all. Uh, I, I use this plugin called Community Lighting Plugin. I don't exactly know why it works or how it works. I just know that it works. It, it's pretty complicated. And what I did is I just borrowed some YouTuber online until he told me how it works. Step three, 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 three. All horror games needs to have a complicated story, and honestly, if you guys don't have a complicated story, then I'm sorry, but it's not going to be a good game. The complicated stories create fan bases, so you gotta have a complicated story. If I were to try and explain to you guys the, my story, then I'm sorry, but uh, it'd be too complicated. All you need to know is that you're going to start off in this room, and the player's not going to have any idea why they're in this room. They're not going to have any idea of what's going on. But like all good horror games, there's going to be a demon at some point, and its name is probably going to be Azazel. Or maybe Lilith. Two good demon names. Step 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Oh, sh I forgot. Step 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5. Oh, sh I forgot. I forgot to mention that the version I'm using is called RPG Maker MZ. If you're using a previous version of RPG Maker, I've heard that it probably works. I don't really know. I don't really understand that sort of stuff, but it probably works. But let's be real, you're probably going to pirate this anyways. Step 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, for real this time. You need to make your game as complicated as possible. And in all honesty, if your game is not complicated then uh, and its puzzles are too easy, then people will just think your game is some pushover. So what I'm going to do is create an invisible event that has the key. And uh, the person will have to click on this event. And when they do, this door here will just magically appear and unlock. Step 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Like all good horror games, you need to have dead ends that will cause the player to game over. So just put them wherever and however. Um, people really enjoyed the witch's house or was it witch's hut, witch's cabin. I, I don't really know what it's called, but everyone liked that game. And in that game, they just force gamed overs on everything. So just be like, you died and just copy and paste it everywhere. And trust me, your game will be good. And there you guys have it, 5 easy tips to make an RPG maker horror game that will do fantastically well in the market today. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, today actually happens to be my birthday, so an additional reason to please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hell, even have your parents subscribe, have your grandparents subscribe, have your cat subscribe, your dog subscribe. Uh, let's be real, one of you guys probably have like some weird exotic animal out there, so have those things subscribed as well. Uh, and I was, if I hit 1 million subscriber, I will do a VTuber leg reveal.